Good morning, Fly Babies. Today is Friday, June 2nd. If you're a payroll Fly Baby, let's get up and get our morning routines going 25 minutes from now to the door if you haven't done anything. And that doesn't include a shower. If you do have to take a shower in the morning, add that time in as well. Once you get yours done, then you can escort your own children through theirs. And it's so much more pleasant. You'll be a better mom and won't be doing things like I used to do. Get your shoes on! You're making me crazy! What do you mean you can't find your shoes? You know, those stories. So <laughs> help your kids. It makes life a lot easier. Morning routines for children, super easy. Get up, make your bed, good job. Go brush your teeth, wash your face, put on your clothes, come eat breakfast. That's it, get your books or your backpack or whatever you need and let's go. All right. Um, have a good day, payroll fly babies. When you come home, you're going to do your um, make your dinner, do your after dinner routine, uh, check your mail and get rid of your paper clutter, maybe go through an inch of your paper clutter and start a load of laundry and finish that up. That would be great. And then after dinner, you do your after dinner routine, like I said, which is just cleaning up. And then after that, your before bed routine. And even though it's a weekend, you know, think about what time you need to get up in the morning. That means you need to be in bed by what time. So if you know that you're absolutely going to be able to sleep until 10, then you don't have to go to bed till 1 in the morning. Have a good time. All right. Um, if it's more like me, <laughs> you're going to get up at 6 or 7. You need to go to bed by 10 or 11. All right. Um, have a great day. And remember, whatever you do and whomever you see, you are beautiful. Bye. Okay. Payroll fly babies are gone. Let's talk to you. You're my at home fly babies. We have a job to do, even though it's Friday. Let's get it done. Today is morning routines. R morning routines for your children. If they're already at home, still they still have morning routines. Um, then after your morning routine, let's get on your paper routine and your um, laundry. Let's get that going. Remember, the machines do the laundry. We don't. We just fold clothes, hang them up, and put them away. Until you have them put away, you have you have not done the laundry. Your machines may have, but you have not. Another thing that I always say is, if you don't have time to fold the clothes, don't take them out of the dryer. Don't put more clothes in the dryer and make a gigantic mount fold more. That is not good. That is not fun. That is depressing. I'd rather have dirty clothes waiting to be washed so that I can fold them, wash them, dry them, and fold them and put them away. Putting away clothes is an achievement. Remember, anything you do, do it first, do it fast, make it fun, and finish. Finish. Okay, well, let's go on to what do we do after that? Okay, today is Friday. For our basic weekly plan today, we have to do our purse and car. So just go out to your car with a bag and get all the junk out of it. You know, all the stuff that's not supposed to be in there. Then you get in the house, let's go ahead and sort that into trash, give away, throw away. Most of it and put away. Most of it will be put away. It's things like your son's cleats, you know, the baby's pacifier. Um, you might have, you know, a McDonald's cup in there or a sippy cup that needs to go in the dishwasher. Uh, but generally it's, you know, dolls and books and toys and if you have kids. Um, if you have teenagers, you should be training them. At, no, no should. It's a great idea to train them to give, be firm but kind to take their things out and finish their processes every time they do anything. That will keep them from having hot spots. To me, a hot spot is the most disappointing part of the day. To have to go clear a hot spot three times a day makes me sick. And so I want to teach you to continue to finish your processes so that you don't have to clear hot spots three times a day. Isn't that just the saddest story you've ever heard? So let's get our, our processes finished. When you look at clutter, it's just a grouping of things that you didn't finish. So every time you hold something in your hand, think finish, finish. So if it's your hairbrush, put it in the drawer. If it's your toothbrush, put it where it goes. If it's the toothpaste, put it where it goes. If it's the soap, put it where it goes. If it's a towel, I'm all in the bathroom right now, but you get the idea. Put things where they go and you won't have hot spots. You know, I know it's okay when you're sitting down and you've got a snack. Okay, you've got a napkin, maybe you've got a plate, maybe you've even got a fork, you've got a water bottle, you've got a book you're reading and a pen and your phone and the boot and the uh, plug that pl you know to to charge your phone. All that stuff's right there on your side table. When you get up, gather it up, take the garbage to the garbage, the plate to the dishwasher or plates, um, bring your water bottle with you wherever you're going, and uh, take your phone charger and put it away. Put your phone, you know, in your pocket or whatever. That's how easy it is to clean that up. But if you leave that, it's going to be a magnet for more clutter. The family sees it. Oh, good. And subconsciously, it's like, oh, good. We can make a mess. Okay. So 
clean it up. When you have a clear space, it's easy to see clutter and it's easy to monitor clutter. Remember, you have to inspect what you expect with children. Okay. All right. Um, what else are we doing today? After we do our car and purse, you know, dump your purse on the table or the floor, go through it, put everything back where it's supposed to be, and take the things that migrated to your purse and put them away and take all the little giblets of stuff and throw that in the garbage. And you'll have a nice tidy purse and you'll know where your sunglasses are. All right. Next is zones. If you're in zones, that means you've been with me at least three weeks, maybe longer. Uh, this is zone one, the front porch. Yesterday I told you to wash your front door. If you don't have anything else to do on the front porch, then let's go ahead and, um, and sorry about that. Let's go ahead and uh, shake the mat and look at the wreath and maybe wipe down. Um, if you have any trim, let's get that wiped down or swept off. Maybe you've got um, some kind of cobwebs. All right, that's it. And um, really, we're done. So tomorrow... I want you to know we're going to have a fantastic day. If you're at home fly baby and you've done your things all week, tomorrow is just routines. It's another free day and it's a family fun day. So really focus on the family. Still get up in the morning and do your routines. We'll talk about it tomorrow. In the meantime, every time you pass by a mirror, every time you look in the rearview mirror, every time you catch a reflection in a, in a window when you're walking by, I want you to remember that you are beautiful. Bye.